let's face it, we all need to unplug from the digital world every once in a while. It's true, but unfortunately, it seems like there are fewer and fewer places to connect with nature, but Roby found a local outdoor retreat that does the trick. Chris, where can you see wild animals, barn animals, and a working farm in the same place? Well, Drumlin Farm in Lincoln, Massachusetts, they are celebrating their 60th anniversary. We unplugged and traveled to their 200-acre sanctuary for this week's Roby on the Road. I think she's saying hello. This broadwing hawk just one of the many welcoming sights at Drumlin Farm in Lincoln. Where's the next? So many choices. Since we're at the wild animal exhibit, let's bring in Flavio, the wildlife care coordinator. He's showing me the turkey vulture and his roommate, the black vulture. Is this what I see hovering over 128, trying to get like a dead muskrat or something? Uh, yes, you definitely can see these two animals flying over 128. I have a barn owl. Flavio told me the name barn owl comes from the fact that they like to nest in barns and other old buildings. What are you training him to do? Exactly this thing. Well, not that one. Not the <laughs> flying around. Take it too. Eventually, that owl will go on classroom visits with Flavio. Good girl. And kids can come see but not touch critters like this opossum. All these animals are here because they were injured at one point. They have to remain in captivity because they can't fend for themselves. But not all the creatures at Drumlin are wild. Mm. There are sheep and cows on the working farm. That's where we found Evan who goes to a very hands-on preschool here. How do you milk a cow? Pretend uh, my hand is a cow. <laughs> kids from all over New England come here for a unique outdoor learning experience. These kids have deep experiences and understanding how what's going on in the natural world that is becoming all too rare as you think about kids spending all their time uh, with their computers and their and their devices and grown-ups learn how to grow their own food so um, we will hoeing and this these fields are part of Audubon Society's CSA community supported agriculture they like the hand the hands-on work um, and they're you know getting a sense of what I get from working here um, you know being outside with nature and growing my own food um, there's it, it's nothing that really beats that. So Drumlin is a wildlife sanctuary, a working farm, and a wonderful resource for the community, but kids seem to love animals the most. And how about Evan's favorite? What do you do with the pigs? Wash them. Wash them. You wash the pigs? <laughs> Are you <laughs> you lose a bet? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Kevin did not lose a bet. There's no wagering allowed at Drumlin Farm. <laughs> He's not your joke, though. He, <laughs> he certainly totally did. did. Didn't miss a beat. And they're celebrating 60 years? Yeah. Yes. And, you know, I ran into a bunch of kids from the preschool. Imagine going to preschool at a place like that. Yeah. And then if you're a grown-up, you can do the CSA 